What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Go back to another video. In today's video, um, it, 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 it's some good news and it's some bad news. Obviously, in the bad news, the M4 is not here. We have so many boxes for the M4 and I'm trying to stay positive, but unfortunately, the M4 is not here. Again, I don't have any updates as of today. It, 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 it's going to be kind of a long situation with every other, like every accident is just always a long situation. Typically, a lot of YouTubers that I've seen and met that have been in accidents, they don't like to disclose they've been in accidents or if they do, um, they'll typically state it after the insurance and everything is over with. Uh, the thing is with me, guys, I don't like to keep anything from you guys, and it is what it is. Whatever happens in life, um, I want to always keep you guys posted, and uh, that's the end of that story. That being said, we have so many boxes here from Keys Motorsports, so many carbon fiber bits. We have so many more other things over there from Keys Motorsports, and it just sucks that we're not able to put any of that on the M4 right now. I'm still trying to figure out if we can get the car back, and if we do, um, we're gonna end up using all this stuff. And if we don't, I'll figure it out. I'll talk to Keys and see what we're gonna do with all these boxes right here for the M4. But anyhow, we do have a couple other boxes and all this stuff you guys see right here came from one of you guys. His name is right there. He's been supporting me on this build since day one. He actually has been rebuilding his own seven series and he's been wanting to see this one get saved as well. Um, so this one has a bunch of weird issues and I couldn't really figure it out. And uh, he, he, he found it out. You guys saw that basically I had an air temperature sensor connected to an air temperature sensor in the last video. Literally, whoever that had this car just janked up the car so heavily. As you guys can see, the harness, this harness doesn't connect to anything either. Um, the, the part that actually connects to the car is cut off. It's just not even here. So he ended up finding a full harness for this car, the air temperature sensor. This actually connects straight into the car. I believe this is for the fog light. And this goes to the other side. It connects to all the other things. So we got the full harness here from BMW. I think these run uh, like a couple hundred bucks. So huge shout out to him for sending these out. I also got two brand new looking headlights which I'm super excited about and obviously we got a new bumper this bumper is actually from a 2015 this is a 2011 so this 2015 is not an M Sport but it does have some aggressive curves to it so I'm pretty happy about that also in the FCP Euro box of course we had to get some more maintenance so you guys know that when we did the the oil the oil draining when we try to put new oil on it whoever that had this car before is completely stripped out the bolt for the oil pan and the oil pan is leaking so heavily so what I decided to do is got a brand new oil pan from FCP Euro with a lifetime warranty so if we ever end up stripping that bolt ever again, uh, we can end up swapping it with a new oil pan. Uh, so that's really, really, really good. And on top of that, also we get a new gasket and all the good stuff, all the new bolts. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and just replace everything. Uh, that is not gonna be today's video. Hopefully I'm gonna be partnering up with Showman from Showman Motors. And we're gonna end up doing that part. It is a more of a labor intensive job and I don't have a lift. It'll just be a lot easier with a lift. Let's go ahead and go into the trunk and just plot any, anything else that we have for this car, um, just to see what we're working with. And this was the other harness that actually came with the car and thankfully it did because this is a very, very, very expensive harness and very, very, very expensive uh, sensors. Each one of these sensors run about $30. Um, so we have all the sensors right here. We have one, two, three, four, and actually five. This car comes with five sensors. The only issue is, is right here, the wires are completely uh, just, just ripped in half. And I'm assuming that's what happened with this harness. It ripped off the portion on the side that connects everything. So that's probably why we're getting so many errors as well. So what I wanna go ahead and do is actually replace this harness first because it connects to everything. Let's go ahead and replace this harness uh, and let's go ahead and try to put together this harness, make sure that's all one piece and just get this one on the car and remove the one that's currently on the car because I don't even think any of this stuff is even working because none of it's even connected and I didn't even know that. It's no wonder there's so many errors. All right guys, so let's go ahead and just pull off uh, all this janky wiring and uh, see what we're working with exactly. Right, so looking at the harness on this side, I did end up cutting off this wire just to make it easier. Uh, this is on the harness you don't need anymore. And I'm actually gonna be keeping all of these because these are universal to all BMWs and I end up needing these. So this is a perfect piece to keep. I pay about $20 used for each one of these. Now we got a few of them on here that's universal for other BMWs. So it's a good thing to just keep these harnesses. They're not garbage, trust me. Especially if you're able to a few BMWs, uh, you're gonna see that these are uh, very, very, very common clips. Anywho, uh, we got about four clips on this side, one big one and three small 
ones. As you guys can see, we have one big one, one, two, three small ones on this side, so that's good. Come around to this side. Um, you can look, clearly see that there's only two. There is this one, the red and brown, and then there's the yellow and brown right there. So it's missing this one entirely that actually plugs into the car. I didn't even notice that. This one is the same one as that one, and then obviously we got that red one, and then obviously this is our problem, our temperature sensory one is not even on that harness, which is absolutely crazy. It doesn't even look like it's been ripped off anywhere. Like I follow the back, I don't even see it, but apparently this thing apparently I don't know where, it just merges or something. So good thing we have a brand new harness now. Let's go ahead and just pretty much toss this one for now. I'm gonna go ahead and cut off all the all the, all the the heads and keep these for future references. But as for this one, let's go ahead and reinstall it as if it was OEM. Guys, nothing's more satisfying than when I can actually clip everything where it needs to go. So I'm super, super, super happy about it. The only thing I broke is right over here, the little clip that holds that, but this little clip is holding it from right here, so it shouldn't go back much. And once you put the wheel guard and everything, it should be good. We have everything connected now, even the sensor that goes back here, we have that connected as well. Uh, so we just have to connect the headlight on here. Everything here is connected, the horn, uh, this horn as well, even the ambient temperature sensor finally is right there connected. And then we also have the actual full harness fully connected, which is great. Obviously, I'm gonna have the body shop pull this out, but I went ahead and just tabbed it in there as well. This is fully connected. This actually connects to all the PDC sensors in the front, so we're gonna hopefully work on that harness in a little bit. And this just connects to the fog light, so uh, that is perfect right there. And then this just connects to the headlights. So I think at this point, let's go ahead and remove this as well and just connect both headlights, bolt down the headlights, try to line it up as best as we can. I am super, super, super excited for the headlights especially. Alright guys, so I noticed that this gap from here to here is pretty significant. Obviously this is pretty significant, but I can move this up another maybe half inch or quarter inch just by moving the fender up. I did notice when you guys go ahead and close the door that this is basically overlapping and this is just way too close. And this is actually way too close compared to the other side. So what we're gonna go ahead and do, I already loosened up all the bolts. We're gonna try to push the fender that way just to get the gaps in this lined up with this. You guys can see it's completely off. If we align all that, that should actually help us out with these gaps. Obviously, this is the side it's been in the accident, so it's gonna be a little bit hard to kind of play with, but uh, we're gonna try our best here. Um, but without further ado, let's go ahead and try to just move this fender forward. So looking at it from this side, we have the headlight and the fender, everything looking pretty good, pretty sturdy as well there. And as for this side, this is the side of the accident. Um, I wish I honestly had a new headlight bracket that would have made things a lot easier. Um, this thing does have a little bit of play in it, but I feel like once you screw in the top and the bumper goes in from the front, it should be absolutely perfect. The only thing this thing really needs is a new headlight bracket and it would fix all of our problems. As you guys can see, it's just the bracket itself is bad. From what I've seen online, these brackets go for about $200 because they're just really big. They're a huge piece back there 
And uh, again, I, I don't want to spend $200 on a bracket, especially for a car I spent three grand on. And uh, this thing actually looks really good for what the job I did. So I think it looks pretty good. Everything went on perfectly. And closing the hood, the hood closes on both sides. Both gaps on both sides are really close, but I mean, maybe that's just how this car is. I'm not really too sure, but I'm, as long as both of them are the same, I'm happy with it. As for the PDC sensors, the, the harness, I need to rewire that, and I also need to put on the bumper. Um, so probably actually gonna do that probably in the next video. I didn't realize how long it's actually gonna take me to align both headlights. Um, so this is kind of a short video. But since it's kind of a short video, kinda, I don't think too short, but compared to my last video, which is 45 minutes, I don't think I can beat that. Let's go ahead and show you guys what we got in the FCP Europe box. We got a bunch of good goodies here, and uh, I I'm just super excited to pop that puppy open. So before we actually crack this box open, guys, I just wanna again give a huge special shout out to FCP Euro. Again, these maintenance pieces that I'm spending so much money on uh, wouldn't have been easily possible, especially on a car like this, where it's like basically I'm spending twice as much as what the car is worth. So uh, FCP Euro is allowing me to put in more maintenance to what the car is worth. So huge shout out to them for making this happen because again, the oil pan is really, really, really bad. And if I was to ever sell this car, I don't want the oil pan on the next owner to be screwed over. I want them new gaskets, new oil pan, new drain screw, uh, new bolts, new everything. As you guys should check from the top as well, we have new ignition coils, new spark plugs, uh, new oil filter housing gaskets, new oil filter gaskets. We're trying to get everything done to this car. Um, so yeah, this oil pan was much needed. And we also have the rear main seal here as well um, for when the time comes and we actually swap out the transmission because yes, it also needs a new transmission. So these two guys are our BMW i8 shocks. We got two new shocks for the i8. We're also got a carbon fiber spoiler coming in in the way for the i8 as well. So I'll probably install all those at the same time. We don't wanna make a video for this, a video for that. Let's do it all at once. Uh, so yeah, these are the new gas shocks for the i8. Uh, typical maintenance piece can get very expensive if you have to buy it every single year for BMW. So. Always buy your stuff from FCP or with that lifetime warranty. And this guy right here is basically like an OEM oil pan, but it's not OEM. So without pretty much the BMW logo on it. Other than that, this is basically an OEM oil pan. FCP Euro calls it OE, which is basically like OEM, but again, without the BMW logo. And uh, these are just as good for literally a fraction of the price. So what we ended up ordering is that we ended up getting two new gaskets, uh, all the bolts, we wanted new bolts because these are actually one time use bolts. And then uh, we got the brand new gasket right here. So this is a brand new, again, OE gaskets, OE's bolts. Uh, it, it should be, it should just do the job perfectly. So I'm not too worried about it. And check out our new oil pan. It is so satisfying getting a brand new piece like this. Cause this car, the oil pan is super drenched. And this is our biggest thing. So we have the drain plug already actually installed. I'm not even gonna take this out. I'm actually just gonna leave it like that. Put the oil in the car and we should be ready to go. So uh, yeah, video on this coming soon. I am super excited for this guy. So actually before we conclude the video, let's see if everything works. Let's check out the headlight errors all went away. And let's check out if our temperature sensor actually went away. And uh, we'll get our car adapter and clear the codes as well. And see what actually stays with us. First start up with the new headlights, the new temperature sensor. First off, look at that temperature is plus 32. So that's actually pretty good, which I mean, I think that's actually reading correct now. <laughs> now that we're in the car, guys, it's going to connect to the seven series and uh, hopefully get that light to check engine light should finally officially clear. It shouldn't come back anymore because our temperature sensor does seem to be working, which is absolutely perfect. Obviously plus 32, I don't think it's accurate, but at the same time it is connected. It doesn't say negative 40 anymore. So I think this will adjust once we're actually driving the car. But as for now, it is not negative 40 anymore, which is a huge sign that it actually changed. Something's actually doing something, which is great. Again, check in line light should be able to go away now. And we should have a clear dashboard as of now. 123 errors. Let's go ahead and clear the lights real quick and uh, see what we got left. Lights are officially cleared. It's going to start up the car. Check engine light gone, which is perfect. And as you guys can hear, it doesn't throw a thousand errors. Let's go ahead and let down the e-brake as well. We have no lights on the dash. Uh, I should just put on the seatbelt as well. I wanna see this beautiful moment where there is literally no lights on the dash. Okay, bada bing, bada bang. This is looking very beautiful, guys. I think we've accomplished so much on this car. The only thing is that triangle, which means we do have some more errors, but uh, hopefully all the headlight ones have cleared up. Let's go to vehicle status, check control. All right, we have one list. There's no scrolling, which is good. I don't know if you guys remember, but you're able to scroll like two, three pages long. 
Uh, so this is where we got increased battery discharge. Uh, that is probably because I let the car sit for a very long period of time without the headlights in the car. If you guys don't know, when you guys don't have headlights hooked up to the car, the battery does discharge, and that also explains why this isn't working either. Basically, a lot of the electronics are starting to fail, mainly because of the battery. So once the battery gets a good charge again, we should be ready to go. Washer fluid, easy fix, right fog light, left fog light, uh, right cornering lap malfunction. Okay, so we do have a cornering light malfunction. Uh, hopefully that's not the module. Let's go ahead and put on our hazard, see if any new errors come up. All right, this is looking pretty good. No new errors there. Let's go ahead and use our turn signals. It is blinking slow, which means it is working. The other side, again, blinking the way it's supposed to be, which means everything is working. Let's try our high beams. Okay, no errors, looking good. Let's try the adaptive headlights. Okay, no errors. Again, we're trying, we're just testing out the headlights and it looks like everything so far has responded because otherwise if it hasn't, we'll get an error right here. So the only thing we're getting in terms of the headlight is the right cornering light malfunction and that can also be because of the battery. So uh, we just need to charge the battery on this car. We should be good to go. Um, and then the washer fluids, again, we'll, we'll top off everything else. Uh, the calibration in the seat, we still need to figure out that error. Not a big deal, but still need to figure that out. But, but guys, this list is nothing compared to what it started. Obviously, we still have the transmission issue. Uh, that hasn't gone. Our uh, oil level sensor and everything's reading fine. Our services has come such a long way. Everything's looking really good, which I'm super happy about. I mean, technically, we got a legal running car with no lights on the dash. We've got this ugly windshield. I hate this tint right here. I hate how there's a crack throughout this entire thing. Hopefully, in the next video, guys, you guys will see me replace the entire windshield. We're going to get a brand new one. Um, and uh, it's just, at least from inside the cabin, this car is going to feel like brain spanking new. But yeah, I'm super happy this car is running like a dream. Uh, man, I, I'm just happy to have some good news. Obviously, you guys saw the last video. And this is definitely some good news knowing that now all the sensors are working again huge special shout out to this guy right here for helping me out so much i wouldn't be able to get this far in the build without him he got me the entire harness which is a couple hundred bucks both headlights the bumper um i all i had to do is pay shipping which is a fraction of what it would have cost to actually buy all this from my local yard but without further ado guys this is pretty much going to conclude the video if you guys enjoyed this video make sure to smash the like button if you guys are excited to see the house you guys are waiting to get an update on the m4 and you guys are excited to see some i8 content make sure to smash the like button without further do guys i love y'all so much remember to stay humble i'll see you guys in the next one peace out